I'll be perfectly honest with you. I, I, honestly, I should have left several times, two or really? three times. I think I should have. Later on, we, we just didn't have the equipment. So far in the 2023 NASCAR season, we have seen the rise of RFK Racing with both Brad Keselowski, now a key owner of the team and driver of the number 6 car, along with Chris Busher posting so far a career best 3 wins during the 2023 regular season, cementing a solid 4th place spot in the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. However, I remember only just a short time ago when the future of what was Roush Fenway Racing looked to be doomed. Let's take a trip back in time. September 10th, 2005, Roush Racing driver Kurt Busch picks up the win in the 2005 Chevy Rock and Roll 400, and the field is set for the 2005 NASCAR Nextel Cup Series chase for the cup as Kurt Busch tries to defend his 2004 Cup Series championship. In addition, Roush Racing looks to win a third consecutive championship with Matt Kenseth having won his title in 2003, the last of the Winston Cup era of the NASCAR Cup Series. They do stand a rather strong chance of accomplishing this goal, however, as for the first and only time in NASCAR history, all five of Roush Racing's drivers have qualified for the Nextel Cup Series Chase for the Cup, as Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth, Greg Biffle, Mark Martin, and Carl Edwards would all make a bid to win the 2005 Nextel Cup Series Championship. Life is great, right? Surely things can only keep getting better for Roush Racing, and they'll always have a strong roster of drivers and supreme four dominance, right? Well, not quite. Fast forward to 2012. Roush Racing is now known as Roush Fenway Racing, and Matt Kenseth has now won his second Daytona 500 driving the 17 car, but the team has gotten a little bit smaller. The team now only has three full-time cars, the 16 of Greg Biffle, the 17 of Matt Kenseth, and the 99 of Carl Edwards but they still have not won a championship since Kurt Busch in 2004, and the wins are definitely becoming fewer than they once were, but they are still seemingly okay. Who is more than okay in 2012, however, is a recent call-up to the NASCAR Cup Series of Penske Racing, Brad Kozlowski, in just his third full-time season driving the captain's flagship number 2 Miller Lite Dodge, he has just wrapped up 2012 season hoisting his first ever Sprint Cup Series championship at Homestead Miami Speedway, two years removed from winning the NASCAR Nationwide Series championship in 2010. This can only be the beginning of a beautiful future with many more championships for the captain's newest star, right? Well, maybe not. Perhaps those multiple championships could come from a young prospect being underutilized by Joe Gibbs Racing currently. We now move on to the year 2018, and my my, how things look different for both of our subjects at hand. Brad Keselowski has not won a second championship, and his once truck series team he owned has now also closed up shop the previous year at the conclusion of the 2017 season. Brad is still winning plenty of races, but things are starting to seem odd about Brad's future driving for Penske. Miller Lite only sponsors a small fraction of the races for the two car, only being the primary in 10 races in 2018, and his teammate Joey Logano wins his first championship in 2018, putting the spotlight off the two car and on the 22 car, who has also gave Roger Penske another Daytona 500 victory in 2015. As for our friends at Roush Fenway Racing, things sure do look vastly different these days. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who won two races in 2017, holds the most potential for salvaging the team's future driving the team's number 17 Ford, while Trevor Bain is partially sidelined from his driving duties during the 2018 season. As Matt Kenseth splits seat time in the number 6 of Bain, as it appears for certain that Trevor Bain will be out of a ride following 2018. Roush Fenway goes winless yet again in 2018, as they had been doing so for quite a number of years ever since they lost Matt Kenseth, Carl Edwards, and Greg Biffle. 
At this point in time, NASCAR fans wondered if we would even see this team in five years, let alone where we are today. Finally, I would like to fast forward to the year 2021. Brad Keselowski, still uncertain about his future at Penske as he has been taking one-year extensions for the past few seasons, makes a shocking announcement that he is buying in as a main owner of Roush Fenway Racing, and a team name would henceforth be known as Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing, better known simply as RFK Racing. For the last few seasons of Roush Fenway, Chris Buescher has since drove the 17 car since 2020, and Ryan Newman has drove the 6 car since 2019. Newman would step away from full-time racing after the 2021 season when it was announced that Brad Kozlowski would begin driving number 6 in 2022, while Buescher remained in number 17. Buescher had already had a good history with the folks at Roush Fenway, winning the 2015 NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship in a number 60 car, beating out Chase Elliott for those honors. While he had since drove in Cup for Front Row Motorsports, where he scored his first career Cup Series victory in a fog-shortened race at Pocono, in addition to time with JTG Darty Racing, Chris's contract of Roush essentially had a clause that he could be called up at any given time, and essentially, we saw an unofficial trade in NASCAR, with Chris Buescher coming home to Roush as number 17, while Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Would went on to drive the 47th for JTG Darty. Now, here we are in the present day, and Brad Keselowski has brought in a fresh life to this once seemingly dying team, with a team that is eager to get back to their once former glory. While they were hit with a major 100 point penalty at the beginning of the 2022 season, for some, this might have seemed like this team really could not be saved, but au contraire. You see, Brad Keselowski and his team did not see this as a negative. But rather, this was perhaps the greatest thing that ever happened to this program, as they have been smart to no longer make these mistakes, and they've only grown stronger as an organization ever since that penalty. You see, Brad Keselowski is no stranger to ownership and learning from the best owners in the sport. Even in his start of the Nationwide Series, he learned from Dale Earnhardt Jr., who was an early mentor to Brad Keselowski. Dale, along with his sister Kelly, had went on to amazing successes owning in the Xfinity Series. He drove for years for not only one of the greatest owners in NASCAR, but one of the most famous owners in all of motorsports, Roger Penske. His father, Bob Keselowski, was even a winning car owner in his own rights and well accomplished in his racing career. His truck series program had closed in 2017. It's important to note that this team went out on top, still winning races into their final year of the program, and through this team, Many of today's stars of the NASCAR Cup Series came through Brad Kozlowski Racing, and now today, the veteranness of Brad Kozlowski as a new leader of RFK Racing on a daily basis is showing itself. In September of 2022, while neither RFK cars made the playoffs, that did not stop them from playing spoiler at Bristol Motor Speedway. Brad, who has won at Bristol in the past, was looking to be a top contender to win the race in the closing laps of the 2022 Bass Pro Shops Night Race, but this race was also plagued by parts failures and tire failures across the entirety of the Cup Series field, and while Brad fell victim during this race, so did Christopher Bell, and when that happened, it opened up the door for Chris Buescher, who had also been in the top five all night to take over the lead, and he held on to win at Bristol cementing RFK Racing's first win under the new Kozlowski regime. This win was celebrated in a huge way by everyone involved, and it gave us a clue at what was to come in 2023. This was no brief shining in the pan like we saw with a couple of Super Speedway wins in 2017. This was clear that something had changed within, giving RFK the opportunity to win races again. And now here we are today as Brad Keselowski and Chris Buescher have both qualified for the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series playoffs and have a chance to go win a championship. Both had been looking all season to get in on points and Brad Keselowski was able to lock himself in on points following William Byron's win at Watkins Glen. But Chris Buescher has cemented an amazing season so far, winning three of the last five races of the 2023 regular season with the first coming at Richmond then the second the following week at Michigan, and now a third win has come at Daytona in the Coke Zero Sugar 400. And while Brad has finished second and in the top five a number of times this season, I feel it is only a matter of time before we see Brad Keselowski back in Ruoff Mortgage victory lane. In fact, I have said this a few times already this year, mainly on NWP, but I firmly have RFK Racing on my personal radar to potentially be a threat to win the championship and I at least believe they can get one of their cars in the championship four this season. Specifically for where they are now, and based on both drivers' past records, Bristol in the round of 16, Talladega in the round of 12, and Martinsville in the round of 8 stand out to me to potentially be wins for RFK Racing in the 2023 running of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. 
What happens next, however, is entirely unsure currently, but one thing that is for sure is that the paths that were taken for Brad Keselowski to end up piloting RFK has been an emotional roller coaster of ups and downs for both parties, and under Keselowski's direction, much like I want to believe with Josh Heupel running my Tennessee Volunteers football team, both the Vols and RFK are certainly back, and you cannot ignore them as a potential threat to upset the world and take back their spot as champs once again. That's all for this video. Let me know what you think about RFK's rise back to the top of Brad Kozlowski. Is it for certain that they are back, or did they still have more to prove? Chime in down below in the comments and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, and especially if you are my friend Elijah running RFK social media accounts, please be sure to leave a like on today's video. If you're new to Danny B Talks, be sure to subscribe to my channel to never miss a future upload from Danny B Talks. And much like RFK Racing, I am back to where I once was, striving to produce entertaining and informative NASCAR videos for your enjoyment, so please never miss a future video. Till next time, this has been Danny B, and thanks so much for watching. I really do hope that you have a great day. Bye guys. <laughs>